Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in astronomy and science. Well, I hope at least one of them. What do you guys, uh, you guys like that shirt? Angelis got it to, for me when she went to Montreal. Yeah, a moose. Okay, anyway, as you guys saw in the last video, I was talking to you guys about this one, the Celestron 8-inch uh, GN, I believe it's called. Yeah, G8N, which is a... 8 inch Burge Jones design reflecting telescope. And now I want to compare, as you saw the video before that, we were talking about this guy. About this guy, that would be my next uh, thing. Would I bring an 8 inch or would Skywatcher make an 8 inch? And we don't know. And when I saw this guy, I thought, okay, it's very similar. Now, Remember that last video I said, I think if they made a Heritage 8-inch, this is about, uh, what did we say on the last video? We said it was about 17, uh, well, at the very bottom for the setting screw, 17 inches. And I said, I think an 8-inch, if they made one, would be about 21 to 22 inches. We got just shy 20 and three quarters so i'm almost perfect in my estimation but so as you can see now too the height difference is not that much you know you're only talking about you're only talking about a few inches here so it's not that much taller but it is a lot more girth or wide that's the thing um, so that's going to be one thing. Could I fit this guy in an airplane? So height-wise, it's only a couple inches more, like two and a half, three inches, which is not a big deal. It'll fit in a suitcase. I probably would not take this 8x50. I would not take this 8x50 finder scope because it's just going to waste. I wouldn't need it. If, I'm, if I put a two inch eyepiece in there and get down to about, uh, I don't know, 35 power, it's uh, pretty low, I don't need it. I'll just put a ride gel finder and I'll take this base off to save some weight. So practically height wise is not that big of a deal. What about weight wise? Is there a difference? Let's check it out. First, let's try this guy, nine pounds, 19 pounds. So that's gonna be a bit of a, a tricky thing now because it's another 10 pounds heavier. Now, my prediction, remember that video? I said, if this is nine, I think if they made a Skywatcher Heritage eight inch or a 200 millimeter, it'd be somewhere around the 14, 19, 14, 15 pound. This one, I mean, if you look at it, it has a real two inch focuser, not the helical kind. If you look up here, has uh, you know a nice thick metal down here has thick metal. Um, I know what to do. Why don't we take out these rings and the bar and see how much weight we can take out? So these rings and the bar are pretty heavy. It's about three pounds. Let's double check. Okay, it brings it down to 16 pounds. So that's closer to what I was thinking. Maybe what I could do, like the Heritage, I could just mount a Vixen bar, but of course maybe longer on here. Um, and then I could use it like almost the same type of thing here. So that could work, we're getting close. If, there, if I can find a way to shave off a little bit more pounds, now remember too, guys, I'm talking about this guy being 16 pounds uh, on its own. Remember your average luggage could be at least 10, 12 pounds, depending what size you have and what it's made out of uh, type of thing. And then by the time I put the tripod, uh, slow motion controls and you know some stuff. Um, when I did this guy, I was able to fit some stuff, some clothing and stuff. Now with this guy, and then depending what tripod and mount I take, I probably am gonna be very close to the limit of not having anything else in there. So my whole purpose of 
this guy is to remember take it on a plane luggage and actually have some other stuff that I can and remember the padding too uh, so this worked fairly well uh, as far as the weight the size no damage was done uh, this is you know two inches bigger it's going to collect far more light almost 80 percent more light than this one so even if i don't get to a really dark site like a bordel well probably forget bordel one zone uh, one i've never been to that yet um best i've gone is bordel zone two or a gray zone uh, but even if i get again if we go to mexico and i'm only at a bordel zone five or a yellow zone or a bordel zone four or a green zone this will perform a lot better than this guy now the question is can i bring the weight down on this guy to a more reasonable level where it's not too much more because even still um, you're looking at about uh, seven pounds difference that's still a lot then i don't know what tripod i'm going to use what mount i might be it, it might be all just telescope uh, and then I have to have a second one for maybe a carry-on. I don't know. But um, I really don't want to pay for two different luggages. So I got to figure out a way. Um, so one, one thinking could be put a, a Vixen bar mounted to it and use an Altazimuth mount, like a side mount. Um, and then that way I don't need rings in the bar. That will keep my weight down. Um, but I got to try to make it a little bit more lighter. The only thing is, there's really not much more I can uh, take out that's going to lose weight. I don't think so. Um, there's really nothing else I could do. Yeah, so I'm kind of stuck there. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Okay, I have an idea. Remember this EQ5 that came with the 8-inch? It's the older uh, aluminum tripod. And remember, this is the one I brought with the six inch and it actually did fine. But here's what I'm thinking. Now, if you look at the legs, you can just see that this one is, I would say at least 50% more. So maybe I could use these legs, but I got to figure out a mount that's lightweight. Um, so maybe the six inch that I took on these legs Comparing now to the 8 inch on these legs, we'll probably equal out. So maybe I could just use this type of legs and not these. But um, what do you guys think? Now, it would be impossible for this guy to go on, on here. But what about an AZ4? Do you think, again, it doesn't have to be rock solid, but would an AZ4, you guys think, be able to handle this weight? with that tripod, an AZ like four or five or the Twilight uh, two uh, mount be a better fit. I think the Twilight has like a steel legs. I think it'd be too heavy, but maybe if I could put the aluminum legs with the uh, Explore Scientific Twilight. Uh, so again, what do you guys think? The AZ4, I could probably get that on AliExpress fairly cheap. Uh, I can't find an AZ5, but uh, the stores have it, but it's like 570 bucks Canadian before tax. So that's pretty expensive. Or uh, the Twilight, again, is not cheap unless I can find it used. Um, you guys tell me if you think the AZ4 can work with that tripod and that scope. Doesn't have to be, does not have to be rock solid. Because remember, I'm just going for low power, deep sky objects. So kind of similar to the six inch I used on that uh, AZ mount, it worked and I was pretty happy with it. But with this eight inch on um, that, probably it's, I don't think it's doable. So you guys tell me what you think. Anyway, so that's where I'm at now. So now I got to figure out a way uh, or maybe, you know, 16 pounds is as light as I can go then. I can't really see any other way to lower the weight of this guy anymore. Uh, if you guys think of anything, maybe, I don't want to go too crazy expensive either. Like maybe, uh, remember, because most of the mass is the mirror. I mean, I, I bet you a couple of you probably saying, what if I change the aluminum for a carbon fiber tube? Uh, I don't know how much more uh, 
uh, or less, it's going to like lower. Um, I guess if I take everything off, all the optics and the focuser and everything and weigh it, I, I can figure that out. And maybe if one of you guys out there has a tube, car a carbon fiber tube that size, then I guess I can get an idea. But if it's only like one pound difference, then uh, that's not worth the, the trouble. Uh, a lot of the mass on this guy is this thick steel ring here, the top and the bottom, the focuser adds some, the thick corrector plate and the housing for the corrector, um, you know, that's adding weight. Uh, but most of it is the mass of the mirror. Anyway, that's where I'm at. So, you know, it's still several months till I go away on my second trip with Angeles. So I got a lot of time to figure this out. Worst case scenario, if it cannot work, that also means I have to buy a bigger suitcase. Now the one we have is, I think the largest size you can get as far as width and length, but there are some that instead of like a nine inch thick, they have up to 13 or 14 inch uh, thick, which I'm gonna need for this guy. So I'm gonna have to buy a new luggage as well. So worst case scenario is I might have to take this guy again. If I can't make it work, we'll make some videos as we go. Okay guys, like, comment, and subscribe. If you know anybody that is getting into astronomy, share my link with them if you'd like. If you know anybody on the forums and they're asking a question that I have a video for, please share my link. And I do have a members um, videos now which are only for the members, and it's only 99 cents a month. Um, so it's a cup of coffee once a, once a month, if you look at it that way. Anyway, why not you? Why not me?